boy JR Reviews back here with another video. Here to bring you guys another video. Let's go. Here to bring you. Okay, so it's JR Reviews. Okay, Senpai JD. Okay, Senpai Josh and my bottom boss. Let's get it. Let's fucking go. Here to bring you guys a review today of. I gotta say it, bro. I. Of one of the greatest fucking horror films to come out this year, in my opinion. Any movie can't be no no movie's gonna beat this movie. I'm sorry. No movie's gonna beat this one. I'm sorry. I just don't I don't see it any horror film beating this movie this year. And that is Conjuring 3, the Conjuring 3, the devil made me do it. Based on a true story you already know. And basically, I'm just giving you a small run out of the plot. Um, it follows their night, the Conjuring's, um, night, uh, the Edward Warren's 1981 case of trying to prove, um, that, uh, helping a young man who was, uh, previously in a, how do I say it, was during a part of their one of their exorcisms and, and, um, begged the demon inside of, um, inside this six, I think it was like eight year old, ten year old boy. I think it was like eight years old, maybe twelve. I could be totally wrong. Um, to instead of and torturing this poor boy and and out him instead, which the demon supposedly did do, made him killing, made him kill someone, and then he goes to jail, obviously. And they're try he was facing death, death penalty, and he tried to use the um, case of I was not guilty by the reason of being demonic possession, which. Um, comes to a great line in this entire series, in this, in this movie, that has to go down at some point in the, the greatest, um, quotes of a movie ever. And that is in the part where I finally know what the part is. I was just talking to my friends, some friends, people a while. But anyways, it's the part where he says, um, where they're talking to the, his lawyer, the kid's lawyer. And the guy basically saying, like, listen, you can't, we can't use the freaking, I don't want this kid to die either, but, like, we can't use the, um, demonic possession as a case. It's like, yeah, you can, technically. Um, it's been done before. Just, okay, my, 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 it's never been done successfully. Which, again, I wouldn't even call this one successfully, because in the end, he still goes to jail. I mean, technically, he didn't murder someone because he's not in control of his own body. So, I'm just saying, because in that point in time, he wasn't controlling his, any of his entire, at all of his entire body. But, back to what I was saying before. Um, the line goes as follows. The court accepts the existence of God every time a witness takes a stand and swears to tell the truth. It's about time that the court accepts the, diff the, the existence of the devil, too. Which I'm gonna argue like, is a great fucking line. It's just a great line in general. But, um, anyways, it goes on to reveal that not only is, um, not a normal demon that's doing this, but the reason why it's all going down, and it's not just an isolated event, it's a curse. Um, that a witch is being, is, slash Satanist is actually doing, and it might have some ties to the Warrens. In the fact that it might be someone that they know's daughter. Which, by the way, is a great reveal. I'm not going to go into it. But basically, this, I think this end series also talks... This end, um, film talks about how love is a great, powerful thing. And as well as how powerful and dangerous obsession can become. Where this woman, who turns out to be the villain in this, series, this show, or this movie, who's the witch, was obsessed with the occult as a child, and grew into what she is now is, and now is an evil witch Satanist who's killing people for, honestly, don't know why, but it also shows the punishments for fucking, um, for fucking with this thing, where in the end, where they end up, where she ends up, um, their curse is broken, and kind of come up in some way, she said, they love the line, she says, um, the do all the demon so a soul, and it's gonna take. It can't go back to hell before it gets what it's owed, and it just like it just breaks her arms, like like twists, like contorts her body into like ungodly shapes. Her whole body turns around to face the other way, and out of the darkness is like a, de a demon, I guess, in her shape, like what she looks like, 
and then it just fucking roar, sharp teeth moment, and then poof, neck. I think neck breaks or body breaks. I don't know what happened. It was a neck break, but I could be totally wrong. Damn. So back to what I was saying. So, but in this movie, it's such a great movie. But I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm jacking this movie off, but it was just such a great movie. Um, especially this, um, I love the fact that uh, this really played. Um, so like, you know how. Ah, uh, I don't know the best way to describe it, but um, everyone uses their abilities and their their job to do good. Where this woman uses the evil, and I would definitely say she's the opposite of the Warrens in the fact that she's using magic, psychic abilities, and all this as a evil for evil persons where they're using it using it in a healthy, good, um, trying to help someone who's being um, plagued by the situations where the witch will probably cause, which I really like. I also like this part where she definitely, um, where, I, where we definitely saw, well, I saw what I thought I saw was necromancy, which I could be totally wrong, but it looked like necromancy. And the curse is so fucked up. The basically the curse is uh, three people. It's a murder suicide curse. So basically, you force someone to kill someone, then they kill themselves, and you must do it three times. Three so basically he's a victims of so one, two, three murders. So that means four. So in total, that's six six murders in total. Because and slash um or six soul sacrifice. So you have one. You have three murders, and then you have the three sacri the three suicides, the equal sacrifice. And poor my poor our poor boy, my poor oh man, uh, Ed Warren guys. Like like the last movie, he was supposed to like he was a he was a target of Alec. This movie, he's a target of the fucking witch. I'm like, bro, why is he always a target? Why? Just why? Man is literally the third victim. This would be the third victim of the curse in the in the, in the film. Bro, like, what the fuck? My god, bro. <laughs> the love, also, the reveal about the daughter, whose daughter this witch is, 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 like, so, like, I wouldn't say, a like, Dark Vader reveals, like, thing, but it's, it definitely packs a punch, like, oh my god, really? Because, all I'm gonna say is the dad's a priest, or ex, an ex-priest, because he, he's retired. And a, like this is just it just is a, a whole fucked up scenario. I also have a scene where she ends up finally getting in contact with who's doing the curse, this lady, and the lady can actually see her while she's projecting herself. And the best line is Warren, Warren, it's uh, or it's Ed, it's Ed, it's just Ed, Ed. It's two ways. The projection is two ways. She can see me, and that was a great. Oh my god, it's such a great line. Um, when she talks to the witch, which was kind of weird, um, she also, like, <sighs> I really like this, I really like the series, I really like this movie, it was a really good movie, um, honest to God, though, in the end of the movie, I, I, I don't agree with the real world situation in the end, uh, I don't think, uh, how do I explain this, I don't think, you should go to jail if you're demonically possessed and you killed someone because it wasn't you personally who killed did the killing. You're not in control of your body, your mental faculties, anything really. Some some ethereal fucking otherworldly shit is controlling you to do this. It's not your it's not of your own it's not like you are, okay, let's do this shit now. It's Someone else in your body doing this to you. Someone or something else. Sorry, my bad. Um, because demons are usually not so supposed to have human souls. Or whenever one's human. So. <clears throat> but yeah, basically that's what... I, I, it's a, it was a real good film. I honestly had no problems with it. If I had to give the, 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 the movie a rating, probably... Nine out, nine out of ten, for sure. Nine out of ten. Now it's in hands down. Um, but I'm gonna I'm not even gonna lie here, folks. I'm not even gonna lie. Such um the ending has great word great words of wisdom. Um the end of the main character or the, the guy in question got married to the girl um later on in real life while he was in prison. 
when she served like I think four years, five years maybe. In my opinion, if I was the judge, I would have given him none years, but that's just me. But um, because he was in the charge of man's, like he was literally going for first degree murder. Ooh. Um, sorry, but and going to go be executed. He gets then he gets instead of that he gets in the end he gets found guilty on manslaughter and gets sent to prison for like five years. Which honest to God, don't think like I said before I don't think he should have gone at all. But we can't all get what we want. Then he marries the, the girl he loved in prison, the girlfriend, his girlfriend in prison or whatever, and he and they've been together consistently since that that ever since the, ever since then to this day, which. Not even gonna lie here, I, I did start to cry towards the end of the film because I legit did not know what happened to him in real life, like to the real person. So when I found out in the movie that he gets convicted of manslaughter and does not get executed for something he didn't do, I got kind of emotional. And then when I found out he actually married his the girl of his of his life, the dream the love's lover, whatever you want to call it, his the girl of his dreams, the his soulmate, he does um I just broke down. I couldn't help it. No, I couldn't help it. I like. I didn't cry really that entire movie until that very part. Like, and I wasn't even honestly that scared. But it was a good movie. It was. It was unnerving as fuck for some things, and some things were generally. I got. I think I got jump scared once, but I wasn't really paying attention. I was looking at my phone, and I looked up at, at, the, at one moment, and then, boom, that's what happened. I see. And this was such a great. It was such a great film. I just. I'm sorry. I can't. I keep checking this film off. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Tell me what you thought in the comments below if you've seen the movie yet. Um, what did you think of the uh, the movie? Uh, Conjuring 3. Uh, the devil made me do it. Let me know um, also what uh, you think of my... Uh, sorry. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. You know, I'm at 246 right now. That means I need four more subs so I can do that. So I can do 250. So I can do that giveaway. So give me that 250 to the 250. Give me those four more subs. Give me the 250 so I can do that giveaway. And if I get the 250 before, like, like the week of, um, let's say, I'd actually get the week of my um, <clears throat> my trip to Chicago. I'll probably have to like wait to do the giveaway until I get back. But I promise. If that's the case, I'll do it as soon as I get back. I'll start to do everything. I'll get in touch with the people, though, and I'll just, you know, let them know the situation and mail them the books when it comes to it. Um, that, That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Please, you know, like I said before, give me the four, almost four more subs so I can get to 250 so I can do that giveaway for you guys. And then, peace out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I said, eh, eh. I said, eh, eh, eh. Whoa. First, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I got booty girls riding on my dick like a horse. But figmas, I'm figmas. These people can't stop me. 2D girls fucking be sent by new hobby. Pull the pants to watch the shit. To your wife, who I'm the king of this shit. Wife was rocking from the nation just to come hear me spit. Got the 2D game unlocked. If you ain't about this shit.